This is Matador News, and these are today's headlines. Former NFL star Aaron Hernandez sentenced to life in prison. CSUN's canine unit shows off for the public. And NASA receives photos of Pluto from more than 3 billion miles away. Hello and welcome to Matador News. I'm Teresa Barrientos. And I'm Anna Akopian. We start with developing news out of Washington, D.C. A man is in custody after landing a small manned helicopter on the grounds of the U.S. Capitol building. The building was on lockdown for a moment, but that has now been lifted. The FAA says the pilot did not have any permission to fly in the restricted airspace. The U.S. Capitol Police has not released the identity of the pilot who again is in custody. Los Angeles area politicians and citizens are responding to last night's State of the City speech. Mayor Garcetti spoke for about an hour at CSUN's Valley Performing Arts Center. One plan is to make navigating from LAX more convenient for riders who use Uber and Lyft. LA Councilman Tom LaBange says he agrees with the new proposals. Mayor Garcetti has a plan. It's back to the basics, but reach out, diversify, work for jobs, improve the police department, fire department, our libraries. He touched all the bases, helping the parks department. I think it's a great job. Get involved with L.A. Love L.A. That's what the mayor said. Mayor Garcetti says he also plans to implement an earthquake retrofitting plan for older buildings and he promises cleaner streets for residents. The 2016 election may be 19 months from now, but campaigning is underway. Democratic Hillary Clinton has begun her campaign in Iowa, where she met with students at a local community college. Florida Republican Marco Rubio announced his run for candidacy this week, but has made no moves for the campaign trail yet. A poll from Rasmussen Reports shows Clinton currently ahead of the GOP frontrunners Ted Cruz and Rand Paul, but that could change. President Obama asks Congress to remove Cuba from the U.S. list of state sponsors of terrorism. Taking Cuba off the list will create room for the two countries to reestablish diplomatic ties and eventually open embassies in both nations. Obama says the Cuban government has not provided support for international terrorism in the last six months and does not plan on doing so in the future. Congress has 45 days to vote and block the president's action. Last week, President Obama and Cuban President Raul Castro shook hands at an international summit after discussing the terrorism designation and restoration of diplomatic ties. NASA spacecraft New Horizons has sent back the first colored photos of Pluto. The picture also shows its largest moon. The probe is expected to send back clearer pictures in the near future. Multiple cameras will record the planet's surface area information. The probe has traveled more than th 3 billion miles over the course of nine years. Pluto was discovered in 1930. It was demoted to a dwarf planet in 2006 because it was categorized as being too small to clear other objects out of its way. The spacecraft will be closest to Pluto in about mid-July. Matador News reporter Jennifer Guzman is live in the newsroom with more on the canines on campus. Thank you, Anna. Today is CSUN's second annual Meet the Dogs event. The afternoon demonstration included obedience acts, holds and barks, apprehension work, search and rescue acts, and bomb detection. Today's dogs come from our own campus Department of Police Services, the Ventura County Sheriff's Station, Santa Paula, and the City of Lompoc. The event is designed to showcase the dogs and their abilities while also clarifying common misconceptions the public may have. Police Corporal Tom Finnerty, who leads the training, says people shouldn't be afraid of the dogs. It's just kind of to get, you know, the general public aware of what the dogs are capable of. They're very nice dogs. Um, the dogs are never taught to be mean. Um, we can't tolerate dogs that are, you know, that have a, a, a history of being mean or anything like that because we're among the students all the time. So our dogs are extremely friendly. The event will be going on until 2 p.m. and is taking place on Beramian Lawn. Students are invited to stop by to gain awareness about the great work the dogs do. You can also purchase CSUN Police Department canine merchandise. All donations support the CSUN canine unit and are tax deductible. Now let's get back to Teresa with the latest news. 
The LA Times reports women in El Salvador have been sentenced up to life in prison for having miscarriages. Abortions in El Salvador are illegal, including pregnancy from rape, incest, and deformed fetuses. It is still illegal even when the mother's life is in danger. The Times reports a woman named Guadalupe Vasquez was raped at 17 and had decided to keep the baby. Her baby died shortly after being born. Even though her rapist was free, she was sentenced to over seven years. Salvadorian activists have been working toward decriminalizing abortion in the country. Now let's go to Kelly Hernandez with the latest sports, latest on sports news. Kelly, what's going on in the sports world today? Well, Anna, there's always something going on in the sports world. Former New England Patriots star Aaron Hernandez has been found guilty of first-degree murder. Hernandez was sentenced to life in prison without parole for shooting 27-year-old Odin Lloyd, a semi-pro football player who was dating the sister of Hernandez's fiancé. The former football player pro was also found guilty on firearms and ammunition charges. Hernandez shot Lloyd six times in the middle of the night in June of 2013. Hernandez was 25 years old with a $40 million contract. A court has ordered Donald Sterling's former mistress, V. Stevano, to surrender $2.8 million in assets to his former wife. Shirley, St Shirley Sterling says her husband was seduced and manipulated into showering Stevano with secret gifts. Stevano must surrender a $1.8 million duplex return, $800,000 in cash handouts, and several luxury cars, including a Ferrari and Bentley. Shelly Sterling said Stevano took advantage of her husband and Stevano fired back by calling her the Wicked Witch of the West. That's all for sports. Now back to Crystal with business. The European Union accuses Google of diverting searches from the, its rivals to favor its own products and services, abusing its dominance in web searches. The European Union's competition commissioner, Margaret Vestager, says a large number of online operators have complaints about Google in areas like travel and mapping. You probably know it as Google Shopping, uh, is an abuse of Google's dominant position in general search. The U.S. Federal Trade Commission investigated similar complaints against Google but closed the case without taking action in 2013. Fast food workers strike for a higher pay. Organizers say they hope this year's nationwide strike will not lead to any arrests. The strike last semester ended in the arrest of 500 workers. Workers are protesting and marching nationwide, chanting and walking with giant banners, demanding $15 an hour. The timing of the strikes on tax day is intentional, focusing on public and taxpayers. The strike still takes place even as two of the nation's largest private employers, Walmart and McDonald's, made recent small changes to improve wages for employees. McDonald's continues to insist that it's not the company but the franchises that set wages at 90% of its U.S. restaurants. Now it's for bis that's, it for, uh, uh, that's it for business. Now back to you, Kelly. Thank you, Krista. Baby food brand BeachNet Nutrition announces a recall of approximately 2,000 pounds of baby food products. The recall was announced yesterday after a consumer found a small piece of glass in one of the products. The U.S. Department of Agriculture website says the four ounces jars containing BeachNet Classic Sweet Potato and Chicken may be contaminated. The baby food jars were, chipped, were shipped to the retail locations nationwide. The company says consumers can return the product for a full refund. Experts say a new synthetic drug called Flaca, or gravel, is extremely dangerous and addictive. On the streets, it's sold in white crystal chunks. In the lab, it's known as a stimulant with the amphetamine-like effects of molly and ecstasy. Flaca, also termed the insanity drug, has caused a recent pattern of bizarre behaviors, all occurring in Fort Lauderdale. Earlier this month, a man, a man who had smoked a drug ran naked in the streets, claiming people stole his clothes. Last month, a man on Flaca impelled himself on a spiked fence outside a police station. He survived. And now back to Crystal Canetta with the latest of entertainment. HBO series Game of Thrones is popular with both viewers and pirates. After the fifth season began Sunday, us users of a Twitter-owned live streaming app called Periscope shared the episode. The app allows users to stream from their phones to their Twitter followers. Also this week, HBO says four unaired Game of Thrones episodes that were leaked online Monday had came from within a group authorized to pre receive preview DVDs. The unrelated incidents don't appear to have hurt the premiere ratings, 
as reports say, nearly 8 million viewers tuned in. That's the best start yet for the series. The weekend is almost here and Coachella's second week of performances and festivities will be taking place. This weekend's lineup consists of mainstream artists like ACDC, David Guetta, Tyler the Creator and many more. During the festival's first weekend, there was 93 arrests and one death. Weekend 1 made headlines to Madonna kissing Drake, to Justin Bieber being choked in the chokehold and getting kicked out of the festival. That's all for entertainment. Now let's get back to news. A red flag warning is in effect today in the L.A. and Ventura counties. Strong winds from the mountains are expected to blow into the alleys to the valleys with a w wind rate of 60 miles per hour. <laughs> this warning was announced. Sorry. This warning was announced after forecasters said that dry conditions and strong winds could increase the chances of brush fires. Temperatures in Northridge are expected to rise into the high 80s with winds reaching a 40 miles per hour rate. I'm Teresa Barrientos. And I'm Anna Okopian. Thank you for watching Matterdown News.